Hello, and welcome to another product video breakdown from Nikkor Store. Today, we will be taking a look at the Nikkor P35i. Are you new to this channel? Consider subscribing and liking our videos for more Nikkor content. Nikkor's first introduction into the burgeoning LEP flashlight market. LEP, of course, stands for Laser Excitated Phosphor, a new way of producing white light, essentially, but in a much more stronger, focused, and concentrated beam, thus producing beam throws never before seen with traditional LED flashlights. I say traditional, but really incandescent would come before that, so that would be more traditional. So, yes. A next step after LED flashlights. A combination multi-LED LEP flashlight. And here is everything that comes with the Nikkor P35i. The flashlight itself. A matching semi-rigid nylon holster. The Nikkor NL2150 HPI i-series battery. A USB-A to C charging cable. User manual warranty card as well as the CR123A battery adapter sleeve, spare o-ring, and the RSW2i USB-C pressure switch. Here is the Nikkor P35i in all of its glory. Bezel, OLED display, side button, tail switch, and the rubber port that covers the USB pad. The tail cap is removable and the battery is replaceable. Although the Nikkor P35i is rather front heavy, it is not that much different, and actually the bezel diameter is nearly identical to the Nikkor P30i, which was a long throw LED flashlight introduced previously. And thus it is not the most comfortable to carry. However, it comes with a specially designed holster, specifically that mates with the P35i, with the Velcro backstrap as well as solid plastic loop that can be used to attach it to backpacks or belt loops. Here are the dimensions of the Nikkor P35i. It is 7.36 inches in length. The bezel diameter is 2.56 inches, and the grip diameter is 1 inch. It weighs 10.46 ounces with the battery inside. The Nikkor P35i is equipped with its primary LEP module, as well as 6 Cree XPG3 LEDs for its flood mode. And thus, the Nikkor P35i is capable of a 3000 lumen turbo when both its LEP module as well as its 6 flood LEDs are activated at the same time. The maximum beam distance you can acquire with the LEP module is over 1,840 yards, nearly a mile, and this is due to the peak beam intensity being 678,000 candela. This lends to the P35i's incredible ability to be a pocket searchlight or spotlight capable of illuminating vast distances in the palm of your hand. Although the P35i can be rather bulky, I believe this is one of the instances in which Nikkor has lived up to its slogan and has truly innovated by adding the six LEDs. I have stated in the past in a previous video on a separate channel that a flashlight with a single LEP module has in fact one definite shortcoming, and that is that a light source powered by a single LEP is in fact too precise and too concentrated, and thus it provides no no other relative information without any flood or supplementary lighting. For instance, imagine if you will, you are part of a search and rescue team, and you're riding in a helicopter looking for somebody lost in the woods, or even in the ocean, or any instance in which there is a large repetitive texture. The LEP spotlight on its own provides such a small direct concentrated light in one particular area, it doesn't provide you any relative information as to where in that particular area you might be looking at, especially if you add to this that the ground in relation to you will be moving if you are in a moving vehicle. And this problem is solved with the P35i with the inclusion of the LED floodlights. The P35i gives you the power of a spotlight that can go long distances in addition to the floodlight which doesn't have to be all that powerful to provide you the relative information of the surrounding area giving you a bigger understanding. Here is the operation guide of the Nikkor P35i. The P35i comes with a two-stage tail switch. It can be held or momentary on. The flashlight will deactivate when pressure is removed from the tail switch. It can then be clicked through for constant on. It will deactivate when the tail switch is clicked through again. While the flashlight is on, you can tap the side button to cycle through your brightness settings. Like so. The OLED display will tell you what brightness setting you are on, in addition to providing you an estimated runtime of how much battery life you have remaining while on that brightness mode. Here is how to change the operating function of the P35i. Hold the side button, and then tap the tail switch. 
Continue holding the side button and it will cycle through flood mode only, mix mode, and then spot only. Spot only is just the LEP module. Flood is just the six LEDs and mix will activate both. Here are the brightness modes for the flood only. Turbo at 3000 lumen, high at 1000 lumen, mid at 300 lumen, low at 70 lumen, and ultra low at 10 lumen. Here are the brightness modes for the spotlight only. Turbo at 410 lumen, high at 200 lumen, mid at 130 lumen, low at 65 lumen, and ultra low at 25 lumen. Here are the brightness modes for the mixed mode. High at 3000 lumen, mid at 420 lumen, and low at 130 lumen. Additionally, regardless of which lighting mode the P35i is on, for instance, right now it is in spot only, if you hold the side button, it will activate all of the LEDs in turbo mode. You can then tap the side button once to return to the mode you were using previously. The Nikkor P35i comes with an NL2150 HPI rechargeable 21700 i-series intelligent battery. It can be replaced by untwisting the tail cap. It can be charged inside of the P35i via the USB-C port on the tail cap. Lift up the protective cover to expose the USB-C port. You can then use the included USB-C cable to charge the battery inside. The charging status indicator on the tail cap will go from a series of blinks to a constant on when the battery is fully charged. You also get a nice little visual indicator on the OLED display. This USB-C port can also be used to connect the RSW2i pressure switch. So again, uncover and connect the RSW2i pressure switch. Once connected, the large portion of the pad is your momentary on. The light will deactivate when pressure is released from the pad. The small section of the pad is your constant on. Tap it once to activate the flashlight. Tap it again to deactivate the flashlight. Once you activate it with the constant on, you can use the large portion of the pad to cycle between your brightness modes. You can then hold the small portion of the pad to activate strobe mode. However, to switch between lighting styles, you must still hold the side button and then tap the tail switch once to cycle between the lighting modes. And finally, the P35i is rated IP68 waterproof and thus is submersible up to 2 meters. It is impact resistant and made of durable aerograde aluminum, giving it the ability to be an outstanding, long-lasting, and durable pocket searchlight. And that concludes a product video breakdown of the Nikkor P35i, Nikkor's first foray into the LEP flashlight market, in addition to providing 6 LEDs for supplementary flood lighting, an incredibly long throw flashlight, providing up to 1,840 40 yards of beam distance. The Nikkor P35i is available at nikkorstore.com. And as a show of appreciation for our YouTube audience, save 10% on your entire order at Nikkor Store when you use the code U10 at checkout. If you have enjoyed this video or think I am a big dumb fart, please leave a comment or suggestion below. To stay up to date on future product releases, sales announcements, and all things flashlight related, please consider subscribing to the Nikkor Store YouTube channel. And thank you.